Smith & Wesson Model 317 Airlight 22 Long Rifle. Right here today shooting a dandy little revolver from Smith & Wesson. It's the Model 317 Airlight. It's a 22 Long Rifle. I uh, did a review on this. It's been about 14 years ago now. Back then we wasn't doing videos. We decided to do a video on this. It's a dandy little gun. It's made primarily of aluminum. Synthetic rubber grip on it. It's got a really good feel to it. This little Model 317 revolver has got a eight shock cylinder. It ejects really well. We've had no ejection problems with it. Uh, no ignition problems. Uh, one thing I, uh, that uh, I want to tell you on this, the trigger pulls are pretty heavy for some people. It measures right at 10 pounds on the double action pull on this. A little under three on the single action pull, which is not bad. You handle it really well. Um, you just got to get used to it. You can't really lighten the springs in these much because the hammer is so lightweight. If you do that, you're going to get a failure to fire. Like it is, got no failures to fire. It's got a three inch uh, barrel. It's a stainless uh, line, liner in a barrel with an aluminum shroud over it. It's got fiber optic front sight, v nox rear sight, checkered hammer so you can fire it single action or double action. It does have a Smith & Wesson internal key lock. You can use that if you want to or ignore it if you want to. If you lock it, the action will not work. So if a kid or somebody gets hold of your gun is not supposed to, that'll lock it up and keep it safe for you. But if you don't, don't want to use that lock, just throw your little key away and don't worry about it. So, then the little revolver from Smith & Wesson. It's an eight shot revolver, 22 long rifle with an aluminum cylinder, and the weight on it is just 11.7 ounces. It's less than half the weight of my all stainless steel Model 63, which I really love too. But this carries so good on the hip or in the pocket, you can see in your back pocket or in your front pocket, it's a good little uh, revolver to carry if you're heading out in the woods, anything like that. You might need to pop a venomous snake or, or anything. You uh, Even on a camping trip, you need to uh, pop a small game or a young bird or something for the pot. You can do it with this. It's, a, it's what was for years called a kit gun or a little trail gun. It's what fishermen and hikers and things put in there. In their kit. Bogues knows all about hiking. He used to be a hiker. But anyway, uh, it's a dandy little gun for something like that. And it weighs almost nothing. Carries well. I got a little cross draw holster here given to me by my friend Al Anderson. We're up in the UP of uh, Michigan. It fits really well in there. Protects the gun well. Hags only about 4.2 ounces to the overall weight of the thing. And you can carry it. Not even know it's in there. But it's a good little revolver available from Smith & Wesson. So uh, you can check them out at smith-wesson.com. Find a Smith & Wesson dealer near you, go to uh, lipsies.com, click on the dealer finder, and if you want to order this little gun online, go to Gallery of Guns, click on the Gun Genie, and you'll get bids from several dealers in your area for your business with a total out-the-door price for you on the Smith & Wesson Model 317. Anyway, it's a dandy little gun. I love it. I let my first one get away from her several years, but I just got this new one, and I'm going to keep it around. It's not going anywhere. So it's a good little gun from Smith & Wesson.